And so this shows how this thing works up and down, left and right. I need someone to like throw things at me or something. Okay, that's easy. I love that job. Check the water bottle. Yeah, no, seriously, go get some paper. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell the story in a second about that this okay. is just to test perform. It's the first thing you're showing is the performance of a flight computer directly connected to a radiant radio. Okay. So that's my script. That's right, that's so script. today we are testing a flight controller directly connected to a Regent radio. I'm not really gonna make those sounds. But... It's a new Regent radio? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so here we have a new Regent radio, which is connected to a flight controller via a standard USB. Okay. So uh, here we're going to test how quick this connects and no. Boots. Yeah. Boots. Connects and boots. Right? Dead. Live. And this should take about 20 seconds. Or less. Or, or, or seven. less. Or seven. Look at that. Seven seconds. Uh, better than normal, but okay. He's <laughs> got the right hands. Things just run, right? Okay, so here we're gonna do a full boot of the new Regent Radio from loss of power to reinsertion of the power cable. So this should take about 40 seconds to boot back up. And while this one will boot faster, the whole system is not active until the Regent Radio is on board and reconnected to the flight control. That's yeah, fine. So then we'll cut audio from the phone, but mm -hmm. we'll speed up the timer, blah, blah, blah. The CP comes in. So that's him coming up. That's 27 seconds. That's about what we thought. Mm -hmm. But the Regent Radio really isn't up because I can tell here I'm pinging radio from my laptop right. until he says he sees him. Not all right. Yeah, they're not quite there. So this could almost probably go up to a minute. That's what I really want to say.